community is coming together today to celebrate our struggles and successes at this year's Recovery Fest. I think that this event is a day of resilience and hope. Um, whether you're in recovery or a supporter of someone in recovery or just in our community, bettering our neighborhoods, improving our lives, improving our community, and improving our world apply to all of us. And the sooner we can make it less about ourselves, the more involved we can be with others. I think it's a day that also maybe, I hope, gives hope to other people that are not yet in recovery but want to be or need to be, um, that they can see all the other people who are successful in their recovery and how, how good life is. And it also, again, demonstrates all the great partnerships in this community. There's a lot of great organizations here that um, are supporting the Recovery Fest and the Blue Water Recovery Outreach Center. So we're happy to be here today. BW Rock is a recovery community organization which is made up of lived experience and we help those seeking recovery from addiction. We're not treatment providers but we work a lot of in and around that space. So we work as connections to people, we serve as community navigators, we offer recovery coaching, recovery support groups and transportation for those that are in the recovery aftercare plan system of care. Sometimes people, they, they kind of want to, they want to be in recovery, but they don't probably want to call us just yet. And so they can go there, they can talk to people, um, and they can, they can help support them to make the connection with either us or, or uh, any treatment provider in our community or wh whatever they might need. And so I think that that might be less scary for some people. It's an easier way to start the process. And, um, and of course, once they get into recovery, they offer a lot of other, like, I don't even think you talked about the socialization and, and different, like, social activities and things like that that are alcohol-free and drug-free. And that's important, too, for people in recovery. So those are other valuable things about uh, Blue Water Recovery Outreach Center. Today we are donating um, a picnic-style uh, lunch for everybody. We've got hot dogs and chips, cookies, pasta salad, some barbecue pulled pork, and chicken. Chef Mike's Catering is a family-owned and operated business. Um, my parents, and uh, now I run it with them, and we do whatever we can to help and support the community. I love this event um, and everything that BW Rock stands for. Um, I actually have a family member that's in the recovery community as well, and it's nice to have people besides family that are there to support them no matter what they do. BW Rock is one of our partners and so when we're out doing events we partner with them um, from Harbor Impact to others and today what we're doing here is providing a family fun activity where kids can kids and adults can win prizes and then of course the biggest thing is providing our programs and services so the community knows what we do provide and um, they can ask us any questions and we have really cool freebies. The exchange program is part of our harm reduction, which is a different, um, it's about safety, keeping someone who is struggling with substance use and kind of meeting them where they're at and so that we can take used needles and give them new ones and we have all the other clean items that go with drug use. So it's meeting them and treating them with respect, without judgment. Thank you to the Blue Water Recovery and Outreach Center for making these resources available to our community. For Them Coast TV, I'm Melissa Painter.